warm good morning to everybody from my end. And uh, as Deepak was saying, it's uh, great to see this big community and uh, it's even feels good also for me to be part of this community now. So thanks also for providing me the platform to be on stage here today. Um, state of the industry. Um, before I dive deep into the industry, I would like to first come up with a wider picture about mega trends which are also influencing us, our daily lives, and for sure also subsequently our industry. Mega trends are the major development of our time. They last for decades and none of us can ignore mega trends anymore. They affect our area of lives from the economy to politics, society and social life. They are simply indispensable. And depending on the definition, there are, let's say, 12 to 24 different megatrends where we look at and we keep an eye on three very popular ones. Because they have reached our daily routine and they really do reach into the smallest detail of our lives. But they might not have yet a big impact on our industry. It's about globalization, it's about digitization, and it's about new mobility. Where else, when it comes to other mega trends that really do have already today a concrete impact on our industry and are influencing the global purchasing behavior, then we are talking about urbanization, individualization, and sustainability. At Hetich, we are looking at these mega trends in detail and seeing how they are changing our homes, how they are changing our lives and our work routine. So when it comes to individualization, there is a growing desire to customize furniture in terms of forms and looks. To be successful in our industry, we need to take individualization as our new standard, economically, easily, and in all sorts of ways. Kitchens becoming more customized and new lifestyles and home living situations are demanding a new and flexible living environment where space and furniture are adapting to user wishes. Consumers are looking for unique and personalized kitchen designs that reflect their individual tastes and lifestyles. As a result, we can expect to see more companies offering customized options and bespoke kitchen design services in future days. Now let's have a look into urbanization. While homes in the urban environment are getting smaller, the use of space and furniture is becoming all the more versatile. Hence, and if we want to be successful in our industry, we have to bring solutions which are enabling the customer on transformation, flexibility, and multifunctionality. And now, we come to the point how urbanization is influencing our kitchen design and also the functionality. And frankly speaking, on the first view, the kitchen looks quite compact. But it's perfectly designed for an urban environment where space becomes a concern but without compromising on quality and functionality. 
As a result, we can expect a rising demand and more and more transformable kitchens with, let's say, smart technologies matching with the urban environment. Now coming um, to sustainability and speaking on behalf of Hetich as a family-owned business, it's, we are in our fourth generation. Sustainability is an essential part of our corporate culture. Our aim is to combine business success with ecological, social, and civic responsibility. And when it comes to kitchens, we are improving the recyclability of our products on the way to a circular economy, and we are looking for alternative, more sustainable materials and manufacturing methods together with our partners. And here, I believe that also more and more consumers in India are looking for, let's say, eco-friendly products and services. In the kitchen industry, this could mean an increased focus on sustainable materials and energy efficient appliances. So that's all about megatrends which do have or might have an impact on our industry, which brings me to the current state of the industry and for sure the global furniture market. The global furniture market has grown by 27% over a decade. And the today's consumption goes up to 520 billion US dollars, driven by rising incomes, urbanization, fast growing emerging markets, market penetration, and when it comes to e-commerce, also evolution of distribution channels. In the global context, the relevance of Asia Pacific has progressively increased. Among those countries, China still has the lion's share, but followed by countries like Japan and India. India is already today a relatively large furniture manufacturer, but also consumer. It stands among the top five when it comes to supply and demand. Moreover, just by seeing the per capita furniture consumption worldwide, as compared to India, it's pointing to a huge potential for further growth in India only. However, currently the local production capacities and partially also capabilities are not yet meeting the rising demand and hence we depend to a certain extent upon imports still. Means, with other words and thinking across the entire value chain, there is a lot of potential to actually add more value to the Indian industry through continuous localization and subsequently, and I think this is very important, becoming more and more independent from global supply chain risks. Overall, I believe that the Indian furniture market has a bright future. One indicator for sure is the expected growth over the next three years. Another indicator is that India is outperforming other Asian players in terms of speed of market growth. Whereas India is growing double digit, China was degrowing in 2022. And when we have a look on what else is fueling this growth, then there are parameters like increase of buying power, which for sure will result into also a growing expenditure for lifestyle products, but also home improvement. It's also about continued urbanization. There is a big move, as all of us know, from rural areas to urban areas all across India. 
and also which matters is the changing family structures which are fueling the growth. The proportion of nuclear households will significantly increase in upcoming years and nuclear families are capable to spend much more per capita than joint families. Overall, I believe the entire industry is becoming more and more organized and a large chunk of consumption is getting driven by the increasing demand for modular kitchens and also cabinetary solutions. The market for modular kitchens and cabinetry in India is, I believe, highly competitive with both international and domestic players vying for share of the market. Indians are willing to spend a larger proportion of their home improvement budget into kitchens as compared to other projects. Effects like COVID, whereby people were staying and even working from home and the growing economy have changed the outlook of families towards investing in furniture, which was earlier considered as a, let's say, nice to have or a priority B and C. Now let's come to the future outlook. And I believe there is a great opportunity to be the next global furniture hub. From a macroeconomical view, and again, coming to China, there is the China plus one policy, which is having nowadays a telling impact on the growth rate of the entire, entire furniture industry in China. On top, global players are more and more shifting their production out of China to avoid tariffs and de-risk, especially their supply chains. Internal factors like government of India promoting make in India and make for the world is also likely to fuel India's aspiration to be the next global furniture hub. From a Hattish perspective, we believe that China is no longer offering a cost advantage. In addition, we need to maintain our cost competitiveness without compromising on quality. And we need to be able to scale our business to meet the rising demand in a fast growing local market. Hence our past and our future investments into our local footprint in India will more and more enable us and all of you to de-risk our overall supply chain. However, to fulfill our aspirations, it's important that the following factors are addressed on a war footing. First, it's about upskilling manpower, but also about providing training and the needed training infrastructure, which is becoming, from my point of view, one of the key assets in our transition from an unorganized to an organized market environment. But it's also about strengthening of the local supply chain to de-risk from disruption as we have experienced during COVID and as Europe is experiencing, unfortunately, since the last 12 months due to the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. And it's a lot about standardization of processes, where I believe we are setting, we are already at the forefront through standardization of our worldwide manufacturing processes and products, providing CAT design to our customers, providing assembly jigs to our partners to also standardize their processes and subsequently become more efficient. But for sure, it's about ease of doing business at the end of the day through policy support and measures to incentivize investments. To conclude, 
We all are here to add value to the Indian economy and the citizens of India by providing solutions, also resulting into magical interior moments, great design, architecture, and sustainable environment. India's GDP growth is outstripping just about every GDP in the world today. It's an upbeat story. Despite other economies in the world where the growth might be driven by political systems, I believe the growth of India is driven by the people of India. And that's, from my point of view, the biggest asset, what we have in hands for a bright future. We are Setich, we are a global company, but which aims to be a local player. We have a long-term view of the market and are systematically expanding also our local footprint in India. We add value to the Indian economy and especially to the furniture industry together with the support of all of you. I believe at the end and looking into the future that the cake is big enough for all of us to have a reasonable share here in this market. So, thank you very much. That's all from my end. Hi, good morning, and it's a nice morning. presentation. I was actually a bit uh, contemplating on one of the trends which is happening in Indian society, where more and more eating outside has become a trend, and Swiggies and Zomatos are making multi-millions. So will, our, will we see the kitchen shrinking in size over a period where the necessity of kitchen is more to just deck it up big way but not utilize it? What's your view on that? My, my personal opinion is, and um, now speaking from a European perspective, this uh, fast food trend going to Burger King, McDonald's, and other fast food chains and into restaurants, leaving the home and the kitchen, um, this is something what we are experiencing in Europe since plenty of years. But at the end of the day, the kitchen is the heart and soul of every household. And that's why I believe the kitchen will always be a central part of every home. So I don't see a risk in this regards. My question is that till the time in India, whole market is, you know, riding on the brand like we, we are using German hardware. Yes. Now, as you see that the future, uh, you can also see that made in India, Atmanirbhar Bharat is, yes. you know, you're coming to India and manufacturing in India. Yeah. So definitely the product will be made in India. Yes. So how you see those aspirations where, you know, the brands are building and riding on the made in German kind yep. of things. So that need to be sought out. Any, any, any thought on that? I mean, in, in principle, to de-risk the supply chain, and I think that's the the major um, point, what we believe uh, makes sense to further localize more and more production to the local markets. Could be India, could be US, it could be all over the world. But what, where we don't make a compromise is quality. So if you own a product, if you own a brand from Hattage, and you buy it in India or you buy it in Germany, it has one and the same commitment on the quality. So. And uh, we have the big advantage at Hattage that we are producing in high volumes and high series. So, and we have our own man manufacturer, machine, special machine manufacturer in-house. So, and all the machines which are producing and assembling our components are coming from our headquarter. So, in fact, there is a commitment on the quality and there is no difference if the product is coming from India or if the product is coming from Germany or if the product is coming from US because we are just mirroring the same standard all across the world. That's our strategy.